Hi right, guys, if you've got brake pads that look like this, this might be the video for you. So first thing we're going to do, we're working on this Vauxhall Antara. And as you can see here, these discs are worse than they're greater. They are shot. Uh, the pads were run too low, so I just want to check see if this caliper isn't seized. And as you can see, that cam piston is going back nicely. So we believe that this caliper is fine at this point. Obviously, we're going to have to investigate why it's seizing. As you can see, it's moving back and forth perfectly fine for the slides are okay. So let's start stripping everything down. First thing I'm going to do is remove the disc retaining screw, and that's a T30. Now to remove the two 14mm bolts holding the caliper to the carrier. With them off, we can just lift the caliper up and put it to one side. I'd usually hang it up on a spring or something with a hook, but it sits nicely there on that little shelf. Just double check the slide pins, you can see they're moving freely there. This inner pad is actually fine, but this outer one is totally shot. But they're both just seized and they're solid. I think the actual issue is poor maintenance. These haven't been stripped down and cleaned on each surface. Or probably haven't been lubricated correctly when put on. After having a wrestle with the pads, using a 21mm long spanner to break these bolts free on the back. <clears throat> There's not actually a lot of space in there to get anything else. That's why I'm using a spanner. Them out, we simply just lift it off. Put that to one side for cleaning. Now usually what I would say is to knock this off with a hammer, but it's already come free. So we just work it out by hand. Stepping it forward a bit. And I'm gonna need two hands to get it all the way off by the looks of it. All unbolted, what we're gonna do is get a a wire brush and some brake clean and scrub it all down. Make it as spotless and smooth as we can just to stop those pads from seizing in there again. Let's go have a look. Right, with that all cleaned up, we've refitted the disc. We put the disc retaining screw in for now. Now we're gonna clean up the carrier very much in the same way as we did the hub our wire brush just scrape any bits off if you can see it's got these metal shims here whoop we're gonna take them off and clean them down this is rust and brick dust everywhere should be wearing goggles really safety squints We don't want to take any chances, so I'm going the extra mile with that. And as you can see, these pins are bone dry. That doesn't cut it with us. Bit of red rubber grease on there, and that will definitely stop it from gumming up. Again, let's just get that on. A little bit of dollop on there. Put a large amount on the tip, and then what that will do when it goes into the boot, it'll slide it all the way up the pin. So it might look like I'm applying a lot, but it's not. It's going to spread all the way through. I'm just going to slide that back in. See how freely that's moving now. That's perfecto. Same on the bottom. I just scoop this off. So if you can pick that up. But all that is, is copper grease. And uh, something that copper grease isn't is a lubricant. It doesn't lubricate. It's an anti seize. It doesn't lubricate. It stops things from seizing. Um, it also hasn't got a very high mounting point, so it melts away and just leaves copper flakes on threads, which is easy to cut through and takes up the space for the rust, stops the things from seizing, but it doesn't actually lubricate things. So clean that up for that copper grease. Another thing to bear in mind is that these rubbers are natural rubber petroleum based copper grease which is 100% copper grease, uh, will distort and damage those rubbers, which cause them to seize again. So I know I get criticized time and time again for not using copper grease, but there is a mechanical and scientific reason for not doing that. And that is, it's because it galvanized, galvanized corrosion on the carrier, damages the boots and seizes up the, the pins, and also seizes up the um, 
pads because that grease goes and it's just there with flakes of copper and muck and it causes it to seize up. So more efficient way of doing it is the tune up 113 ceramic brake grease. Just dab that on the contact points. Top and bottom and then we can get it back on the vehicle. You can see now this is butted up against the other bolt there for the suspension arm. So just tying it up with a screwdriver by hand for now. And now hopping over to E3 Technical, getting the manufacturer specification so we can tighten these bolts down to how tight they should be. Now with that tightened down, let's get these pads in. As you said, we've got the tune-up brake grease on the pads here and we've talked the caliper to carrier bolts down. Sorry I didn't record that, but the customer came up for a chat. And now a bit of grease on the flange there to stop the wheel from seizing. And jobs are good done. Thanks for watching guys.